Well, the B-Boy Barbecue started in my backyard and it kind of just happened. It was never like an intended to be anything. It was like just me and my wife. Um, I had the idea of like, you know, like I'm always with my friends who are, who are writers and you know, we're always together painting. We're never like really communicating. So I'm like, yo, let's get together at my house. I'm gonna have some food, come on by. My wife invited some friends at the time who were into fashion. She's a fashion designer. And we all came together, ate good food, hung up some paintings in the backyard. We had black books, photo albums, and it was like a beautiful exchange of, of culture, of what was happening at the time. Um, one of my boys went in the basement and pulled out some cardboard box and started dancing, started doing windmills and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, okay, this is cool. Uh, my boy Ed Hill was DJing. So we had a little little barbecue going on. I don't know, there's maybe like 15, 20 people. Bang. Next year, it was like, let's do it again. We invited more people, but all of those people who came the first time started telling all these other people. So just by word of mouth, like all these people were in my backyard, like some of the best DJs, some of the best b-boys and best graffiti writers and MCs were all in my backyard in Philadelphia. So this went on for like two years and I was like, my backyard was packed and I was like, you know something, this is fun but I can't do this anymore. I can't feed all y'all and all y'all can't be like in my backyard. So we kind of let it go. But I didn't want to totally leave it go and like two or three years later they built a park directly across the street from my house and I was like, you know something, it's time to do this again. So like I, I got together with some of the, um, some business owners, some people that were into promotions and stuff in Philadelphia and asked if they wanted to get together and do this and actually make it an event. And that's what we did. And that was like, uh, like the B-Boy Barbecue became an event. And I invited writers from all over, from Philadelphia to Boston to Connecticut to Washington, D.C. and a few people from overseas. Throughout the years, we had many writers from T-Kid, Cope, Cornbread, Stay High, 149, and B-Boys, Crazy Legs, and MCs. We had Little Brother host the event one year. So it's been a beautiful collective of people from all over. And it's become like a hip-hop family reunion. So I came in, in and I moved, well, I actually didn't plan on moving, but I came to California in 2006 with the intention to do the barbecue out here. And we did it in Chicano Park huge success. In 2007 we did it in uh, Writer's Block, another great success. And now we've taken a break and we have returned. And this year we're doing a barbecue in Philadelphia, which is 10 years strong. Rochester, New York, 8 years strong. San Diego, which is going to be the third year. And Copenhagen, Denmark for the first year. So yeah, July 2nd, B-Boy Barbecue, San Diego. Come check it out. Live and direct. Yeah.